2019, the health status of Governor Kiredolu first came to light after he was outside the state for about five weeks over ill health. But this was downplayed as being less serious by state government officials. However, in January 2023, reports revealed that he was treating a blood-related disease. Although very little information about his health was available, concerns over the governor's failing health grew with his absence from major events like the commissioning of the Dongote refinery on May the 22nd, 2023. He was also absent from the inauguration of President Bola Tinubu in Abuja on May the 29th and also unavailable during President Tinubu's meeting with progressive governors shortly after the inauguration. In June, he embarked on a medical leave to Germany, which lasted for about three months. And upon his return to Nigeria in September, Aketi, as he is popularly called, returned to Ibadan in Oyo State rather than Ondo State. In October, four governors of Southwest states, Sheima Kinde of Oyo, Babajide Sonwolu from Lagos, Dakwa Biodun of Ogun State and Biodun Oyebanji of Ekiti met with their own state counterpart, Rotimi Akire Dolu, at his private residence in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. During the visit, the governor appeared well and was even seen interacting with his contemporaries in the videos that surfaced on social media. <laughs> But the anxiety over the governor's deteriorating health had already set the stage for intrigues and power play within the APC Nondo state. By this time, the political tension brewing in the state saw the commencement of impeachment proceedings against the deputy governor, Lucky Ayeda Atiwa, over allegations of financial impropriety. The governor's absence created a vacuum in leadership, eliciting allegations of his signature being forged by his political cronies. The governor later wrote to the state assembly intimating them of his desire to embark on another medical leave from December 13. Following President Tinubu's intervention, the House of Assembly withdrew the impeachment notice against the deputy governor and declared him as acting governor. Ever since then, there has been relative peace in the state until news of the governor's death on December the 27th after a prolonged battle with prostate cancer. Governor Kiridolu will be fondly remembered for his vocal stand on political issues ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. The unbridled quest of federal government to acquire more power, that despite this over-centralization of authority, must be curtailed. There must be an end to it. He was in the vanguard for the clamor of the return of power to the southern part of the country. May his soul rest in peace.